Hi friends, my name is Fan. I'm an art lover, and I'm also a language lover. Someone says that learning art is like learning a foreign language, and I totally agree with this opinion. Art is a visual language, and pursuing it is quite similar to learning a spoken language. I am a Chinese learner, and I'm also an art learner. I've been learning Chinese for more than three years. And I've been practicing my art skills seriously for more than half a year now. In this video, I'd like to make some comparisons to share a part of my journey of pursuing both art and a new language. I started learning both Chinese and art because of my interest only. After the trip to China a few years ago, I'm in love with the beautiful landscape, the rich culture, the wonderful cuisine, and friendly people in China. I want to travel to different parts of China and want to talk to the local people more. But I realized that English couldn't help much when traveling to China, so I decided to learn Chinese in order to prepare for my future trips to China. Talking about art, I've been an art lover since the age of four. I had drawn along some of my favorite comic books before I could read or write. I still remember that I spent my entire childhood on reading Japanese comic books and drawing my favorite characters. However, drawing was just a hobby for me during that time, and I have stopped drawing when I started my university degree. After quitting my earlier job, I started to draw again as a hobby to help me recover from my job burnout. Starting to learn something seriously. It's always difficult, and both Chinese and art are not exceptions. At first, I joined some Chinese classes for a few months, but then I realized that I couldn't keep up with the teaching speed of those classes, and I dropped learning. I thought that I wouldn't be able to learn Chinese because it's too different from my mother tongue. It's also the most difficult language I've ever learned. In my life so far, however, the dream of mastering Chinese motivated me to keep learning, as I know that it not only can help me travel more easily to China, but also can help me make a living in the future. So I decided to study again by myself at home. The journey of teaching myself art is also very hard at first. When I decide to take drawing seriously. I don't want to be a copycat of anyone else. I want to have my own style, but I didn't know how to find it. During the time while I was struggling to find my art style, there were so many times I thought about giving up because it was so hard, and I wasn't confident about my ability. But again, the love for drawing and the dream of making a living from art have motivated me to continue drawing. It's easy to find a reason to start learning a new skill, but I believe that what makes us become better at that skill is discipline. Over the past three years, I've studied a variety of Chinese books, watched so many Chinese teaching videos on YouTube, used dozens of notebooks to practice writing, and I've done nearly a hundred of Chinese tests on my own. I've devoted my time and energy. To practice Chinese for at least 30 minutes a day, even when I was having my day job. Finally, I've seen the result of those hard work by last November. I've got my very first Chinese certificate, which is a proof of my intermediate level. This small achievement encouraged me to keep improving my Chinese skills, and more importantly. It told me that I can definitely study by myself to get a higher level and use Chinese in practical situations. In terms of art, I'm still a beginner, but during the past ten months, I finished five pencil sketchbooks and created more than fifty digital artworks. I knew that I had to draw every day to reach my goal, so I've been spending at least one hour per day on drawing. When I don't have enough time to complete an illustration, I always try to finish at least a small sketch. 
and after so much effort I've put into my daily drawing task, I finally found my own style. This is the biggest progress I have made in my creative journey so far. This is also the foundation for me to learn more and upgrade my art day by day. The journey of learning Chinese teaches me a very important lesson. It took me over three years to reach the intermediate level of Chinese, which is one of the most difficult languages in the world. And learning art is even harder because art is subjective and there's no specific standard to evaluate. Similarly, in order to reach the intermediate level of my art, I know that it will take three to four years. So, if you're also starting to learn a language or pursue art, I think we should have a realistic expectation and think long term. Enjoy the journey, be patient, we'll see the progress eventually.